So that's how Lunar New Year should be rung in. But this year, the streets look a bit different. They're more bare. There's no line dancing. There are no drums as the annual Lunar New Year Festival in Chinatown is canceled for the second year in a row. We all, all of us feel disappointed but we have no other choice. When Wang says the Chinatown and Area Business Association had planned an in-person Lunar New Year event for 2022, but had to cancel their plans due to Omicron. But that doesn't mean Edmontonians can't celebrate. The Chinese Graduates Association of Alberta and Edmonton Chinese Bilingual Education Association are hosting a virtual Lunar New Year event on Saturday, January 29th from 12 to 4 p.m. To join, Edmontonians can visit the site or watch live on YouTube. And when you go in, uh, you could actually switch channel to a a uh, Zoom uh, format, which will have crafts going on, uh, painting together, making crafts together. There's a puppet show. There's a storytelling from Money Chan. You know, there is also Tai Chi workshop and seminar as well as self-defense workshop and seminar. Stephen Sang says the event will be hosted and run mostly in English to make it accessible for people who aren't fluent in Chinese. Chinese New Year's or Lunar New Year's celebration is one of the uh, best opportunity to promote the culture so that the mainstream have a chance to take a peek of what the true Chinese culture is like. That's Peggy Yu of the Edmonton Beijing Opera Association, who says they will be showcasing a performance at the Lunar New Year virtual event Saturday. For all those not fluent in Mandarin, Yu translates. Just to say, I, I pray for everyone to be healthy. So however you're choosing to celebrate this year, whether it's by eating nin go or exchanging hong bao lai si, we just want to say san nin fai lok and gong hei fa choi. In Edmonton, Sarah Chu, City News.